Razak, congratulations, player of the match, 3 for 9 and 62 in front on your home team. But it seems like you're a man on a mission today. No, I think there was a lot of people on the mission. If anything, I thought everybody was on a mission today. The way Tanashi Mushawaya started the bowling and the way he executed the plan was just phenomenal. The way our seamers bowl, um, bowl the hard out was, was, was brilliant. Most importantly, the energy in the field and also most importantly, the catches we took today and the runner we got. You know, these are small things that goes unnoticed, but they changed the game and I thought we executed most of our plans really well. And that energy of the field, everything was going to hand. The run outs were just going, getting through. Was it? Was there a team talk yesterday? Because, I mean, after the, the uh, disappointing losses of the last two matches, bouncing back. Yes, there was certainly because, team chat, because that that's not Bangla Tiger. That's not the quality we possess in the changing room. So we addressed some of the issues we had in the changing room and everybody's professional and honest enough to raise their hand and says, we've got it wrong, but we are the same people who are going to get it right. And Alhamdulillah, today we got it right. How do you, uh, when, you when you've had a couple of bad results uh, and then you come out with a result like this, today, performance like this, today, what's going on in between uh, in, in the gap between the few games? Because it's a fast tournament. So how do you put the thing lost behind and start a fresh over here. you got to stay in the present. What's done is done. Um, I can hold my head high and come out every game saying that I gave my best. Um, if the result didn't go my way, that's that, that so be it. And most of the boys, if not all of us, are exactly the same. I know we had a painful loss yesterday, but we went out for team dinner. We had initially planned. And I think those things, we are very relaxed off the park as well. On the park, the game's so fast, the game's so intense. There's not much time to rest and relax. So we try and relax, rest well, drink well, enjoy each other's success, enjoy each other's company. And I thought the dinner yesterday was a, was a good thing to do. Is the compartmentalization in that sense uh, essential for a uh, competition like the T10 just because of the pace of the tournament? No, I, I, I know people say it's only two hours, but it's still so fast. I mean, I am drained after today mentally and physically as well, but I know I have to rest well, I have to eat well, I have to drink well, and I think everybody's thinking the same. So no, it is what it is. Also, you got to respect and understand there's so many franchise tournaments that you have to fill in the gaps. Um, there's not many gaps left on TV, so, you know, it's better to have this competition in, in a fast-paced environment rather than not to have it. And a country like Zimbabwe, we are truly grateful that we have this competition because we're going to keep finding new boys. We're going to improve the pool of players we have. So uh, what, when, I, when I said compartmentalization, I meant like you put the thing behind, the yesterday's game behind and then you move today. Similarly, you put today's win behind and go to tomorrow. Is, is that yeah, certainly. Is that What's done is done. What's done is done. I mean, I know we won. We're going to enjoy for the next 20-30 minutes. We have our dinner here. We go to bed and tomorrow we come fresh and we, tomorrow we come and hunt again, inshallah. Well, one more thing, what do you say to the fans uh, that take courage and come to T10? Yeah, listen, they've been great. Um, I've already asked the owners to do something for our beautiful fans and they've agreed. So hopefully before the next year we come out a little bit early and try and do something for our beautiful fans. Thank you very much. Okay.